Hi there, I'm Justin Dowds, the Chief Executive of Compassion UK and Compassion Ireland. In these challenging times, I wanted to reach out personally and express my gratitude for your ongoing support and let you know that we are standing with you. We think of you, our amazing supporters, volunteers and church partners as part of our worldwide Compassion community. Please know that as a team, we are praying for you and your loved ones. Like many, you may be feeling overwhelmed, anxious, apprehensive or even fearful and we want to stand with you and pray with you through that. It's a great comfort to us as a team that we have an incredible Father in Heaven who loves us more than we could ever comprehend. Whilst our Compassion UK and Ireland team are now working from home, our Supporter Experience team are able to answer phone calls from their homes. And if you would like someone to talk to or pray with at this time, then we really want you to get in touch with us. You can call us on our usual number or you can send us an email. In a moment, you'll hear from some of our teams around the world, and I hope they will bring you some comfort in knowing that those who run our child-focused, church-based programs are very experienced in responding to the health risks that children in poverty face every single day. And because all our projects are run by local church staff and volunteers, children and families are being supported at this time by those they already know and trust. I'll now hand over to my wonderful colleagues, Silas and Edward, to hear more about Compassion's efforts around the world. For us in Asia region, it was just before New Year when the Wuhan crisis broke up. It started to hit us home in the second week of January in Thailand, the first case in Thailand. Many of the countries where we uh, minister, their government has only have decided to close schools and close uh, large gatherings. So basically, our church partners are following those guidelines. Our colleagues in Guatemala recently shared a powerful reflection from one of the children in the projects during their coronavirus prevention efforts. And our team in El Salvador this last week have been working with compassion-supported children and caregivers to give additional coronavirus prevention training. Needless to say, children who live in poverty remain extremely vulnerable. Yeah, I think the best thing the sponsors can do at this point of time is to pray by name for their child. 